Greetings every Transformers or Bayformers alike, Cybernet Micah here, or you just can call me Michael, and welcome back to another review about Transformers. Yes, this is it. And considering I'm now in a spring break, or actually Easter break, to celebrate the Easter and the potential uh, del uh, coronavirus uh, situation, which also caused well, many, well, quarantines and a uh, lot of things happen. For example, uh, the latest update about uh, the Beast Wars or Bumblebee 2, or even uh, the update about uh, Kong, Godzilla vs. Kong trailer being released soon, uh, later on in April or just in early May. And a lot of stuff that I may or may not edit in. We are taking a look at a 10 year old figure from the line that is known as the Hunter for the Decepticon The Fallen which is a repaint and a remold of the already existing Transformers Revenge of the Fallen aka the RTF line The Fallen from Voyager class and uh, except uh, Except for the more looking like the the color scheme of the film, it is more bluish, but also a little bit custom, and have a, a new remolded face, hands, and a new accessory, which is the staff. And yeah, you can already see the already used and cracked details of this The Fallen, but... I really do not like uh, describing it. But anyways, anyone who doesn't know who The Fallen is, uh, it's just a long story. Let me just sort it out. The Fallen, also known as uh, a, also known as the Megatronus, which is actually what he's supposed to be, is one of the seven primes, or actually 13, but who is counting, from the film The Revenge of the Fallen, who uh, had the main biggest role, but uh, really has the shortest Runtime, I really did not do that much. Well, or I either went to the Matrix and then later on get his face ripped. But uh, even though that this the the fallen was in the in the film that much and the last scene was a bit rushed, the fallen itself, this figure, which is actually what a actual repaint like a remote of the of Red RTF, which is one of the best toy lines of the, the Bay Force. That actually has some functions that actually play out this uh, complicated toy line. And what The Fallen is one of them. And uh, to take a look at the, the Fallen's old mode, which he really didn't transform in the film, is actually looking pretty awesome for being a creative uh, alien jet. And uh, if you're going to take a look at the following right now, now and just remove the staff because we need it, you can see the beautiful detail that is added to this the fallen figure. And Hasbro really tried to make it make it look like a actual vehicle, but more like a toy. Just, but it's also really simplistic if you can see. You can also, well, maybe in the creative, just extend this uh, gauntlet, which actually will play, uh, play out in the robot mode. Can be, um, well, literal engine. But you can also adjust these feet instead of just looking like a um, regular triangular jet, which this the Fallen is actually based off a gypstick. Uh, Design you can actually angle it out to be more well more creative and um, Yeah, these ball joints really like to pop off But that's due to age so uh, who's really surprised but Not much further to do. Let's also Take a look at the size comparison, which is going to be just quick Megatron from the first film, but also is a repaint of the or of the Revenge of the Fallen 
Transformers line. I'm not kidding. That's actually existing in the free pack, including with Megatron, with that they already exist in the Fallen, and a repaint of Soundwave, which has more G1 colors. If I'm, if you think I'm crazy, go look it up. But yeah, you can see that this uh, the Fallen figure is, is jet mode is more. Well, m much better than Megatron's uh, alt mode, which this is actually, well, pretty beat up uh, considering Studio Series actually already has, well, a little bit superior alt mode than uh, the first Megatron's alt mode is better than this alt mode, which is just plain out tragic. But uh, let's not talk about Me Megatron that much. Let's take a look at... How he's actually transformed, actually take a look at his robot mode. And also, here's something, a fun fact that many have missed. If you take a look at this uh, claws, you see that they shift? Yeah, that's actually not a tra a burn, an actual broken piece. That's actually, I think it's actually a feature that you can do. Which many of us Transformers fans has maybe miss missed. And also, you can also angle this... Uh, well, long, uh, well, these long things that actually play us out is uh, the Fallen's mode actually can uh, angle up, considering they are made of rubber plastic. So you can do it whatever you want. But right now, let's take a look at this robot mode. You're just gonna untab, just untab both of them with these uh, nice ratchet joints. That actually is really, really good. And I'm gonna talk about the paint job a little bit later on, but uh, yeah, I made some major changes of the Fallen's mode. Actually, now I think about it, maybe the feet are actually wrong. Holy shit! Also, it's better the landing gear. And let me just say, I fucking love the Fallen's feet. Looks like a General Grievous is uh, General Grievous with extra feet, the toes. Am I the only one? I mean. I might not be the only one here, I hope. But uh, yeah, you can literally just uh, place the feet on the ground, which is actually on a spring, which I may like and maybe not, considering these just springs up when you actually pick it up, which is actually a fun feature, but uh, over time it gets a little bit annoying. But uh, what you gonna do? It's a, a, a figure for kids. Then you're just gonna add, twist the heads. Oops. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Ex Oops, spoilers. But uh, I'm gonna explain a later on. And also untap the arms, like so. Then shift down the elbow, like so. Like so. And now we come to the back. Let's make sure that this piece is actually. Shift it down so his back is more clean. And then you can also add the nose cone on the back. But that just makes it a little bit uh, awkward. But you can have the option of removing it. Which is fine. Because we don't really need it that much. Oops. The hinge joint here is really old. Then just twist the arms like so. And then twist the arms like so. And there you go, there we have the Fallen in his robot mode, but you can also add more realism to the film, having more screen accuracy. You just um, remove the face, which is actually has some broken tab, which I will explain later, but just plug it back on. And now you have the Fallen's robot mode. And I gotta say, I dig this design. Really? really much okay maybe not the face popping out but uh, you get what I mean holy shit this H this H ah god okay the, the full is roam up mode what do I think of it F flipping awesome but uh, you can also have the option just if you want some portability but this is more like a standard pose but you can remove this so you have more option this is not too important, but 
Yeah, looking close on Defaulton's face, you can see a lot of detail that actually brings up more, well, accuracy than the original figure. Because the original figure has just a, a spring-loaded mechanism that really isn't, well, meant to pose around. But this figure, which has more screen accuracy head, even though it's more blue, which I really... It's a letdown for Hasbro just acting just a blue plastic, but I think they did it on purpose just to, well, tease us. But, alright. But I'm just gonna uh, say it again, that I dig the design of the Fallen. And like Sean Long actually stated, that it actually looks like a Bionicle. And I'm not the one who actually said it. It's impressive. And now you can also add the staff, which is actually on this really rubber plastic, which has the tab to actually connect to the Fallen's back. But if you open out this portable hands, which has a little bit crack, but yeah, that's due to my younger self being unsafe with it. And yeah, looks wise, it's not that bad. The Fallen looks flipping cool. But yeah, about the color that I did. Um, I actually used something that is literally called a Bandai Gunpla marker, which is literally where you, um, I'm just gonna add. I used a little bit of a coloration of uh, this metallic red. Just added a little bit of line of uh, the Fallen's areas, where it's actually supposed to have this reddish orange color. Then I also add a little bit of the real touch, just to experiment. And I think the end result was a little bit, uh, well, I actually dig the look over it just being just too blue. But let's not uh, joke ourselves and let's take a look at his. Give me your face. So, yeah. The full is a flipping face without his uh, mask it really sets off that it actually looks like a bionicle but also feel trashy without the fallen and also there's no light piping sorry geeks but there's no light piping on this the fallen considering as well just reuse the mold and just add it just plain well plain blue plastic and also, here's uh, one fact that I maybe should mention. Um, you see here, hold on. You see here where the mask is. Yeah, there was supposed to be a peg, but uh, unfortunately, when I tried to remove it, the peg just uh, broke off, which is majorly. Oh, Netflix is showing images again, but. That's maybe a one big flaw that uh, you should be more careful and not uh, break the pig. Because uh, with this uh, hard plastic with some really soft mandibles on the side, which is really nice touching, can break off easily if you're not careful. But, like every reviewer, the time is now. It has a uh, hinge joint and a ball joint to the head and also a ball joint of the flipping feet but we will take a look at that later on. His elbows can go out and in and it's actually able to do a ratcheted 360 degrees. His arms can go in and out as a bicep swivel, double hinged elbows, wrist swivel and something I maybe should mention that this has even better. Like the original Revenge the Fallen figure, this has the same mold, which you can actually expand the the blue pieces. Oops. Ah! And now you have the Fallen with his uh, weapons exchanged, actually his uh, gimmick. Show sure enough, which is why it's awesome. 
office uh, six fingers, you see that this is actually on a hinge joint, which actually adds as a finger knuckle possibility. But uh, that says not that much. But uh, also, you already know about the uh, existing waste wobble. Considering the transformation, ratchet kick, and also if you add up this piece, even my dear twist, if you just move out the arms, you can get a possibility that's just so noggishly great that you just can twist your his legs even further. This has to be the biggest kicks and backs that you can actually have. And consider of it, legs can go even beyond the back and front. And just to do the heck of the meme, beautiful thread. Oops. Then you get the uh, knee swivel, and then you have the ball jointed uh, swivel here. But also, articulation on the knee. Yeah, the pistons actually move. So you can be creative whatever you want, but make sure that uh, this does not pop out. So yeah. Oh yeah, it's just a basic bubble, but you can also make it a little bit of a pivot, but I do not recommend it. Hold on, let me just find the feet. Right. Found it. Here we have the fallen next to the really old voice of class Megatron, which uh, he towers over him, and the one of the uh, best uh, and actually my favorite studio series, Optimus Prime from Bumblebee, which actually is just a early concept uh, designs, but I flipping love it. And also just to sort the of case, here we have it next to the Ashes for your Bowser, which I may or may not review later on. And then we have da no 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 Evangelion, and also it's creators the next project which actually won the awards in Japan. Get out of here, Shin Godzilla. And oh, man, and also here we have next to Godzilla 2019. Yeah, really big comparison. Really, really a comparison. Overall, I really do love this set, uh, the fallen figure. It has to be, it has to be one of my favorite uh, Bayformers uh, toy transformers from the Bayformers toy line, and also my favorite from Hunter for the Decepticons and the Revenge of the Fallen. And yet, I am so anticipated and actually waiting that uh, Hasbro and Takara is going to release the the newest line of uh, figures, the newest wave, and I hope the Fallen will be the next one, or the next, but let's see how it pays off. But yeah, this guy, I really love him, and I really hope uh, the next owner will love him as well, because yeah, he got sold. Let's hope that he enjoys it, because I sure do. Because that's the touch. And he got the power. This was Subba Night Micah here. Rolling out.